I've got a Phoenix Ball. Sure, why not? Navi got very mad. Oh, we're in a water! And then run up the wall? Holy crap, you're like the coolest kind of ninja. You gotta hand it to him, that is one beautiful title screen. Hey there, strangers, my name is Neos, and this is Freedom Planet 2, a game that I was not entirely convinced would ever actually happen. Uh, I did a video on the demo of this game February 4th of 2017. It has been five years, over, it's like five and a half years, uh, since the demo of this game came out. I have been eagerly waiting for this stupid sequel to happen, and uh, it's finally here, and I am super excited, and I figured, uh, why not share with you guys? This game came out like three days ago, and I didn't know that. <laughs> I've been eagerly waiting. I just happened to run across on Steam like, holy crap, it's already out! I'm buying it right now! So, uh, what do you say we, uh, show off this uh, this great little indie game right here. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Freedom Planet 1 was more or less a... It was a, it's a, a very, very indie game. It started off as kind of a Sonic fan project sort of thing, and then spiraled off into just a Sega Genesis style whatever. Has some stuff like Gunstar Heroes and Treasure Games and Sonic and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, but we have four playable characters. We've got Lilac, the dragon, very anime face, doesn't really look dragony. Uh, Carol, the wild cat, she has a motorcycle, it's cool. Mila, the hound, uh, she's got weird energy blobs. And Nira, the newest character for this game, playable anyways. Uh, the Frost Knights, we're playing as Lilac, because hey, it's dragon, and also, uh, she's got cool, cool abilities. Um, the buttons on this are totally borked. <laughs> I'm using a PlayStation controller. That is not what the actual buttons are. But hey, hopefully I've got this right. So we got Dragon Cyclone, Air Whip, Dragon Boost, and Guard Slash Blink Dash. Ooh, I'm gonna play this on normal difficulty. And uh, just roll with it, because I have not tried this at all, as you can see. First, first attempt. I'm excited. Here we go. All right, would you like to play a brief tutorial explaining? Sure, why not? I'm just gonna show you guys. I don't know if it's to my some texty stuff there or not. Oh okay, yeah, welcome to Evelise. Uh, following the signs, learn basic controls. So I can't use the D-pad, that is garbage. I'll fix that later. So we've got our jump. See, it says square, I'm pressing X. No idea, doesn't make any sense. That's a terrible button for that anyway. Got, uh, okay, it's gonna be square instead of a circle for melee. So as you can see, unlike the Sonic game, we have melee. She attacks with her hair tentacles. Don't know what that's about. Double jump gives you a cyclone attack, which will hit things. Oh no, uh, we, I guess we don't have to worry about momentum as much as I thought we might. All right, go through here. And then, oh, how do we get up here? Oh, it's an enemy. I was gonna be in the face. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, we do our cyclone like it says right here. And show off all the stuff, and then we will get into the actual game game. I guess I probably already, I knew how to do this. It's very similar to the, uh, the original game. Wait for it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's our dodge, I forgot. Ooh, let's go up and dodge at that. Can I hit that? Ooh, uppercut. And ready for the dragon cyclone boost. Pew! Oh yeah! That's how you get your speed up. Very cool. Wait, wait for it. Yeah! That's so cool. I love it. And apparently we just run straight up walls, as you you do. Uh, Lilac's special move is the powerful and speedy dragon boost. Using this move requires energy in the medium meter at the top left, uh, which uh, returns over time and as you collect crystals. So luckily in the, the previous game, double jumping and doing this would use the, the meter as well. So if you're attacking people with that, you then couldn't boost and it was a big pain in the butt. But this actually will do damage on top of us having our melee attacks and such. If you're playing as, uh, oh, okay, we got our uppercut, we got our down, like, kicky thing. And it's got, got combos and stuff, which is great. Uh, if you're playing as Motorcycle Girl, she can, like, roll into a Sonic Ball. Uh, there's lots, lots of homage, but also just its own thing. It's very freaking cool. And I just wanted to share it because I... I like the first one. The first one was pretty good. You attack uh, up and down, midair, all that stuff. Cool, yep. Um, but I played the demo of this uh, four, five years ago, and it fixed every single problem I had with the previous one. Uh, currently, I have the problem of the buttons being wrong, but, you know, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Luckily, you know, muscle memory. I got the buttons. Don't worry about it. And also, the, uh, the Dragon Cyclone will bounce off of walls. So, like so, we can use that to traverse, and then just keep ourselves going. Very momentum-based. So, let's oh, wait. Travel up walls, same speed. Okay, yep, just keep going. Run on the ceiling, yeah! <laughs> this also does have a whole story mode and everything, which is uh, what we are going to be here for. I don't know how long this tutorial is. Oh, that's not how running up a wall would work, but sure, why not? And that's it! If you ever need a refresher, come back to the guide and do that thing. Now break the target! Yeah! It's like Smash Brothers. Yeah! <laughs> it's a very, very pretty game. Oop, here we go! 
So previous game, an alien came down and murdered a lot of people. The first game's tone was all over the place. It's very cutesy looking and then very dark uh, thematically. Uh, this one seems to have some sort of fish lady or something, according to the trailers. But uh, let's see how this goes. Oh no, fish lady. Someone's OC. Burfinity, probably. I don't know. But looks cool, though. And up she goes. Oh, yeah, she actually does look pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Something about that face. I swear to be like, oh! Anyway, three years later, she was screaming for a long time in a valley to the northeast. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah! Cool. Uh, I guess we're, are we just like freedom fighters now? Voice acting. Yeah, the voice acting was really hit or miss in the previous game. So let's see if they've improved in five years. Well, six, seven years? I don't know when the first one actually came out. It's been a while. There was a uh, Carol with her motorcycle. Gotta catch up to that, apparently. Ready? Go! Boost! Oh, wait, I gotta dodge. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's got all these, like, interactive bits. Hold on, there's stuff up here. What was that? This is where Carol was. There was something. You saw it, right? I'm not entirely crazy. There it is. Oh, it's a shield. Up oh, this way. Yes, yeah, so we got our Sonic... Oh, that's not a shield. You got your Sonic-style shields as well. Also, these bounce pads work. It's great. In the previous game, they were kind of terrible. But, uh, yeah. So we've got our various maneuver... Maneuvement? Yes, that's the new word. Maneuverability movement-based stuff. It's very, very nonsensical and Genesis-looking. It's great. Look at that! It's a totally different route. So it has proper, like, multi-route in your Sonic stuff. I'm gonna say Sonic, um, but this very much, at least based on the first game, had its own identity. It's, it, the first one had a, a very Sonic feel, but um, like as you can see, if I touch enemies, you don't take damage like you would in one of those. You actually have to get hit by the damaging bits, which is kind of neat. So those little things right there. Oh, that's a cool pose. Look at that. Oh, I got down wax. Down wax? Yes. Um, but so I lost track of what I was talking about. It's got its own identity. Basically, it's, it takes a lot of uh, inspirations from things. Like it's very uh, Treasure Gunstar Heroes sort of stuff. I mean, they've made other games of Gunstar Heroes, the Treasure game I know, back from Genesis, uh, where you have a lot of like enemies made of balls, <laughs> just spheres and squares and stuff that you'll just stick together to, uh, you know, make an enemy out of. Oh, that's right, these little petal things are our health. As you can see at the top left there, we've taken some damage. We can grab those back and heal some more. And what I kind of really like, as you can see at the top there, we have uh, a number of these little uh, blue crystal things. Unlike a Sonic, in which it... Uh, no, does it do that way? I forget, no. Uh, I think in the previous one, we count down. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. But I think 200 of those will get you an extra life. But those will also um, give you... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> get Wombo comboed. Uh, I've been playing fighting games as well. So, think about that. Hold on, let's wait for this to recharge. And put you. Oh, wait, that's not where I thought it was. But that's fine. We'll just go over. Yeah. Hello. Downward kick, upward uppercut thingy. Ooh, let's get some more of these orbs. Oh, go back up. <laughs> so nice to be able to recover yourself like that. Up we go. What's up here? I already grabbed it. Cool. Love that. So good. But the, the art's very nice. <laughs> Losing track of my thoughts. It's a very fast game. I was very, I'm so excited. This finally happens. So I actually, I was, I, I downloaded this at like, I think it was one in the morning. <laughs> I mean, I saw that it was available. Um, and oh, music. I like the music! Somehow people in the year 2022 know what a record looks like. I, I don't. <laughs> I own exactly one record. It was from a, like a pre-order of something. I forget what it is now. Or a special edition. I forget. Oh, what was that? Uh, it's the one where you're playing as the, the people hit, like rock and roll trying to save the world from EDM, which is a weird thing. You'll know what it is. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, very cool. It's, it's very pretty. But yeah, all the characters do uh, play differently, which is super nice. I always really appreciate that. Gives you more replayability. And they'll have slightly different story modes, at least, again, based on the previous game. But if we manage to get 200 of these, I believe we should give us an extra life. We're getting very close. It's actually probably where that little meter is. Oh, there you go. That's super useful. I think the previous game, it actually just did count down when you were picking those up. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, no, an enemy. He's dead now. It turned a little, like, dynamite heady or something. They turned a little, like, little orbs. All, like, super retro. I think these things over here also do count towards our total. They count as one P. Oh, nope, they do not. They don't count as anything. Ow! That guy hurt you by touching you because he's covered in spikes. I'll give them that one. That makes sense. Yes, yeah, suck it! Oh, if we do it just down while we're on the ground, you just, like, spin, do, like, little ballerina twirl of things. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> like a lot of things in this. 
and hopefully it'll end up being a 15 game. It's, it's taking so long. I was, I've been following. Hey, there's our shield. Our shield is like a little Navi, which is uh, weird. In the previous one, you had like this gem around you. It was kind of not the best looking, but this just looks like a little familiar or something like that. Um, ooh, eat this. Oh, I missed it. Again, uh, you saw I haven't played this at all, so practice, not a thing yet. But uh, I get the general idea. Ow, there goes my shield. <laughs> oh no, my little shield buddy. Oh no, get up there. I want that stuff. Grab some more of these. So it looks like maybe 250 in order to get an extra life. That might be based on the difficulty we picked or it might be something else. I don't know. But destroying enemies, ow, will give us some more of those gems, I believe. Doesn't it? Hmm, no, it does not. Eh, I think it used to give you something. Are we near the end? I want to see if I can get enough gems to actually get that life, just because we're right here. But yeah, the, the characters will have their own little different story stuff. I'm really curious to see... I, I, I did play through all the uh, the demo characters. Oh, so I know kind of what the... Oh, hey! Found a brave stone. Yeah, there we go. Hey, extra life. There it is. So it is 250. Um, in But in the that old demo. And it feels like it it's plays very similar. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was following uh, this developer... Uh, on Twitter for the longest time, just watching the updates, like, oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, it's looking a lot nicer. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> just very, like, impatient. Give me the game already. It looks so good. And it played really good many years ago, so. I'm sure they did a lot of polishing. It seems like it has, like, a proper overworld um, setup with the level selection and things, and as well as your story with voice acting and all sorts of stuff like that. So, looks like it's a high, a high production uh, indie 2D um, run and jumpy, smashy game. I mean, look at this. Like, look at this background. <laughs> we're going back to the other saying, hey, look at this background, and we're looking at the really fancy pixel art, but I love me some pixel art. Oh no, go back. Go back, you fool. See this. See, that is so good. Just save yourself from any bad decisions. I like most, like, a Sonic game, where would be like, well, I guess I'll just have to slowly make my way back, or do it next time, or something. Now here you can just do it. Just do it, loser. <laughs> Up we go! Woo! Hi, how are you? Dead now? Cool. It's great. Uppercut! And up and over. Let's see if we can just get to the end of this level. It's taking a little bit longer than expected. Oh, it's so cool. I think I may have seen a... There's so many... Look, look at all these little things everywhere. Grab these and go over here. There's a bunch of these little bouncy pads. I guess go higher. There we go. And zoom! Oh, boss time. I like the... You, uh, was that in the original or was that in the demo? Oh, it's maybe just in the demo. I can't remember. We're just slowly following the first level boss. I think that was in the first game too. That's always really good. In the first level, it's like a giant boss and you just have to... You see it throughout the level and you just kind of have to deal with it as it's like slowly attacking you. And then at the end... Ooh, hey, how you doing there, Lilac? Yeah, having fun? Okay, cool. Uh, but then you get to the actual boss fight and you get to beat it up. It's great. I do hate that the stuff on the bottom left there is showing all of the attacks and everything, and it's super wrong. Oh no! Oh well. <laughs> you could run down with it, but I'm like trying to grab everything. Oh, sorry, maybe we'll catch up to it. Because she's super fast! According to, like, the canon of this universe, uh, dragons are crazy fast. Man, we just... <laughs> just let it go. Because it, it should have been, like, right with us the whole time. Hold on. Secret area. Shield! There we go. Thank you. Thank you, demo knowledge. Those little, those things look way different. What is this? This little shrine? Is that a checkpoint? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what's over here. Ooh, that gather stuff. It's like the electric shield in Sonic. Ooh, this background is very different. Neat. So I'll try to avoid all that. Get hit a little bit. It's fine to worry about. It. So I think we have to hit his hands, or claws, or pincers, whatever you want to call them. But we have, you know, our uppercuts. We got our down strikes. We've got our just regular this thing. And then we've got our double jump and our dragon rush, of course. So we'll just wait for him to stop being a jerk and bouncing around everywhere. And then do that, because you can just hit him with multiple times on that. That is devastating. Wait for it. Let's go straight through both hands. Oh, yeah! Not quite as good as I thought it would be, but still pretty good. All right, so ow. <laughs> Every health bar, it seems like it makes him into jumpy bouncy mode. Pretty sure each of these levels, at least in the demo again, uh, have, like, little mini challenges. So, like, beat it in so much time, probably be with a... Without getting a hit or without a... With getting so many of little gems or whatever they're called. I don't know what they are in this one. The not rings. Or not coins. Or not whatever. Hold on, wait for it. Yeah! Oh, I think there's an achievement thing for, like, breaking with your Dragon Rush. Oh, well. That's fine. Yeah! Suck it, loser! Oh, look at this 3D model that's not a 3D model. Oh, yeah! Time is eight minutes on level one. I apologize. I'm checking this out for the first time. So cool. <laughs> Hey, it's time for story. What is that? That's horrifying. No, Hello. No, no, no. 
Oh no, they're treehouse. What happened here? I think they lived in treehouse. Where are you? I told you to stay put. I was, I was riding on my motorcycle. For weeks. I'm not a house cat. Carol, there are house cats a thing in a world where they're I don't know. You to watch the, house. the furry world is very confusing. Sheesh, I'm not your watchdog either. Well, yeah, she's a cat. Watchdog. Oh, please. You go out like all the time. What? Like How you dare don't? you? Besides, what did you expect me to do? Are they like hey, on the run? You better not crash I like this text. Fiver, me and my motorcycle will really uh -huh. show you what's what. Yeah. Ugh. I like how animated they are. I Such a look at that, like a sitting animation. Why would you need that? I don't want to fight about this. It's so cool. Hey, come on, don't be like that. Aww. We can fix this. No sweat. You can't. No sweat. We'll build a new house. These attacks are really getting out of control. Hmm. I'm running myself ragged chasing So what if this is three all? years after the first yeah, game? Those things don't stand a chance <sighs> against world saving pros like us. Yeah, we did it that one time. Yes, but this will take weeks to fix. It's okay, we'll live in a box. Steven. You're like a cat. Hmm. Well, you love boxes. Why don't we just stay at Mila's for now? Oh, right. The child that has its brothers. own house. <laughs> but still, maybe she'd know what to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, they had a sleepover last time. Hey, they're all oh, it's adorable. Look at that. Okay, so hey, so it's a tutorial level one. There's all the stuff. It gives you all your stats. Oh, look at this. Can I look around the overall? Oh, I want to look around the overworld. Um, so singing water temple. It just says hub at the top, right? All right, let's go to level two. Cool. So I guess we got items we can select from. What we got? Ooh. All right, let's go down to how do I actually go to it? How, how do you do this? Hello. Did I select? Oh, there we go. Okay, so a countdown timer appears. If it runs out, you receive no crystal bonus. Ooh, a bonus 25%. All right, cool. Interesting. I'll go with that. So we'll go for a speedy run this time. So singing water temple, here we go. So pretty. All right. So let's uh, just run through. Ooh, it's a, oh, <laughs> story mode. Oh no, she broke stuff. She has weird energy goo blobs. Like I mentioned before. I like her, I like the architecture. Look at it. Man, their character models look so much yeah, better. And by that means sprites. Such late notice, but could we crash at your place tonight? Lilac still looks just like an anime character. Robot, and we need a place to stay. Oh no! You're in. Why does that stump have a face on it? Hold on, <laughs> there's a stump with a face on it. She lives in a lab. Never mind. Just don't touch anything that's glowing. I love the little, the cute little animations. Wait, don't touch anything that's growling. Is that what that said? Is she a scientist? I thought she was a child. Because she was acting like that in the first game, at least. Oh, Lady Nero. <laughs> well, Please don't appear in the middle of my house. Was there supposed to be a door there? I do not live in a tree house. Uh-oh. Okay, so she's a crazy scientist lady. I like it. <laughs> so that totally didn't happen. Don't worry about it. Report once we return to Shang Two. You have no proof. Just because I said it isn't that act of me admitting it. Tell me. The Magister has summoned you all for an audience. <gasps> the Magister. Don't tell me. Oh, okay, the Magister sorry. wants to see us. But Look at the detail in this. Is that Edward Elric house? is a bunny at the top? Well, what if we don't? It, I'm not sure. You did kind There's of a little dinosaur. Oh, it's a dinosaur from uh. It would be. Like, Internet Explorer or whatever, when you can't connect to things. Right. Sorry, Wait, get distracted. Oh, 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 oh no, well, we're going now. You see you later. <laughs> Why would you just push him out the side? Oh. And she has a pet robot, apparently, now. That was so. She's a scientist? In the first one, she was like a dumb kid. I'm confused. Let's talk to you. I will meet you outside the gate. This is my voice now. Gather supplies if you must, but make it quick. Okie dokie. Later! Lock the door, lock the door! It's Mila's lab table. It smells funny. Oh. <laughs> What's this? There are a lot of books here. Math, chemistry, user manuals, even a few comics. What a nerd. Unlike me. Let's see. The bed is really short. Maybe this house used to belong to a rabbit. Hey, there it is on the side. See it? Wait, wait is that, where's the bed? Oh, that that's a bed? Hold. It comes up to your ankle. Are you gigantic? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well. Let's get out of here. That's freaking cool. Can I go in and look at anything else? I like that. Hey, look at that world building. Ooh. Stump. <gasps> Talk to Stump. Mila's really attached to the Stump for some reason. She calls him Mr. Stumpy. Oh, Mr. Stumpy, you're my favorite. <laughs> When's Mr. Stumpy DLC? Gotta play as Mr. Stumpy next. Oh, look at this. Enter? Ooh. Okay. So we have little... Is this totally pointless? 
It is. Oh, unless something shows up here later, but it's just for looks. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. I like that. I like little details. Have you noticed that? I like details. All right. Wallace. Oh, you little, what are you? Is it a fox? It's probably a fox. I get called in every month to patch up things around here. This place is literally falling apart. Almost like there's a crazy scientist breaking everything. D uh, buy or a yellow orb? Why did you say it like that? I bring this little guy with me when I'm mining for gems. Earth orbs make nearby crystals drift towards you. Kind of like a magnet. Cool. Okay, what if I just say bye? Oh, okay. Uh, Bunny, did you used to live in that other house? Uni. I'm the local merchant. Oh, sure, why not? Around these parts, why is that your voice? I'll sell a couple of helpful items that tone down the difficulty for new adventurers. Using helpful items reduces the crystal bonus you receive at the end of a stage, so I would suggest you only use them if you need them. That's kind of... I didn't expect there to be a shop in this. So, Elemental Burst. Uh, your attacks cause lingering water damage to enemies. That's cool, actually. Transform all crystal flowers in the stage into life flower. Wow. So every of those crystals will be a life item, like health. That's busted. So we have a reason to get the 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 rings, <laughs> whatever. You can buy stuff with them. That's called me to get one of each of these. Because so I got to know. I buy. Oh, no. Wait. Can I, oh, no. Never mind. I'm not going to buy these. I don't want them anyway. I wanted them, but you wouldn't let me buy it. All right. What's over here? I like this. No, don't die. <laughs> it's fine. Why, why is this down here? Can I, more, can I like unlock a little hub with more people? I don't know. This is cool. Like, I'm doing nothing. I'm sorry. Um, this is like basically a first impression. Blind playthrough. Um, I hope you guys are interested in this because I'm planning on doing more. Hey, what are you? Alicia, the cat monkey thing? Don't do today what you can do tomorrow. Well, there you go. Juniper. Why'd you say Juniper? Juniper talks amazingly well for a bird. Oh, wow, it's that birdist? Uh, but she can still be uh, hard to understand. She guides us on her path to master the seven senses and control our bodies and our fates. What are the seven senses? What are the other... Um, I mean, granted, I think science has determined there's more like 12 or something because you have like sense of balance and heat and pressure and all that stuff. But whatever. Seven senses. First five senses are physical, sight, touch, hearing, taste, and smell. The sixth and seventh sense transmit the first five through space and time, respectively. What? The sixth sense is what you would call telepathy. Few can truly master it, especially with technology acting as a substitute. You technological losers. Have you ever been knocked out in battle? Upon waking, felt like you've already lived through future events? The seventh sense it influences this feeling. So would you they say like it's canon when you die and you go back, but then, but you said you got knocked out, so you did do it. I'm okay. Anyway, uh, it is a perception that we are experiencing now is a vision that an infinite number of past selves can learn from. So in multiple playthroughs, uh, it's canon, I guess. What is this? What are we looking at? Oh, these little food dispensers. Why are you so big? Things either like ten feet back or well, I like this huge. Oh, bird! You speak slightly good, apparently. Come back. I want to make fun of you. Oh wow, you're very fancy looking. It's a furry game, I can't tell. <laughs> uh, friend of Hound, hello. That's your voice now. Friend is traveling. We have items, very strong. Rabbit speaks of them. Duh, place to sleep? No rooms here. As you can see, I am bird, not house. You can sleep in house, in Hound Tree. Safe travel. Oh, I'm gonna be over here. Don't touch me. All right, and away we go. How do we get out of here? Do I have to go talk to Bear Lady? Was this just for fun? This might just be for fun, which I like. I'll meet you outside the gate. Okay, so just leave. Hey, okay, so I apologize that this is going slow, but hey. Okay. Oh, whoa, sorry. Can you go back? So you will act with proper rever reverence. I would not tolerate any flippancy. Okie dokie. Flippant all over the place. You can't stop me. Okay, this is not a linear map. Uh, Shang Tu. All right. Oh, wow. Wait, so we're gonna go see the Emperor and now platform through his city. Do it. You have to earn the right to go see the Emperor. All right, we're gonna try to do this speedily. For the fake of, fake sake of trying it out. Also, this right here lets you dodge stuff like so. <laughs> it's gonna do it speedily, but now I wanna kill some stuff. Whoa, you can't touch me, I'm dodging. Come back here, I'm trying to kill you. Yeah, 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 suck it. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, those things boost you. That's good. Look at all these little details. Like, woo! Oh, I like it. That's good. 
Alright, what's up here? What's that? What's that bell? Okay, this is gonna go speedy, but screw that. This, like, this is really cool looking. Look at all this detail. Oh, you're, uh, are you horrifying? Yeah, you're horrifying. I wasn't sure at first, but I've decided. Oh, yeah! Uppercut it. Yeah, hit that bell. <laughs> the subscriber bell or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go up this way. Excuse me, don't mind me. Bye. Away! That's so cool. Go oh, kill it. I, it's hor- I don't know what it is. It's horrifying, and I hate it. Ooh. Okay, let's not drown. Sonic style. <laughs> Let's not drown Sonic Styles. I mean, that Sonic Style will be drowning, or like, I don't know. Who are you talking to? Oh, okay, we're all truckers now. <laughs> that's not really right. Sure, you're you're on the internet. You're on my channel. Does that count? Ooh, you're a new. Th Am I fighting a Tamagotchi? What is this? <laughs> Suck it, '90s virtual pet technology. You can run on water. Oh, that's cool. Okay, do you go up? What do you do? Oh, you're just here. Oh, boo, you should, like, be a bouncy thing. Okay, could you- oh, it was doing this. Okay. It's kind of hard to, I remember in the original game, it was kind of hard to tell what was background sometimes. There's so much detail. But look at that. Look at the background back there. looks a little Looney Tunesy. Oh, that knocked some stuff out of there. That's cool. There's so much going on. It's too fast! Oh, that's not- you went backwards. Go down. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fun. Kill it first. You kill it before it kills you. There you go. Let's get some health. Yeah! There and there, yoink, and away we go! Keep doing the dodge, I should swap those buttons. I had to manually map the buttons, like I said, because it's showing all the wrong things. Like, this button is guard. I'm pressing circle, it says it's X. <laughs> it's just not even remotely accurate. It's a button on the controller, I guess. So it's not totally wrong. Oh, no! Is that a train? Oh, yeah! Oh, it's cool! Oh, now we're underneath the train, we're gonna drown down here? We got a shield, though. Oh, no! Just give us, like, infinite... Oh, this one gives us, uh, air. Cool. Die. Yeah, okay, so if we boost on... Oh, was that thing in the original that might have been... Oh! I don't know if that hurts you. <laughs> uh, boosting on water might have been a thing. I can't remember. Up we go! Yeah! Okay, those don't hurt you. This is freaking cool! I apologize. I, I should have warned you up front there was gonna be some just, like, nerding out here. This is freaking cool. What does this do? Hello? I mean, I love me some pixel art. We know that. Love me some platformers. And I I like the first game. And oh, this looks really cool. What's down there? What's attacking me? Being attacked by a robo bird. Oh, no. Is it because I made fun of that bird earlier? Is he mad? He sent his robot minions after me? What the crap are you? I don't like you. You need to die. <laughs> One of them abominations. Oh, checkpoint. What's up here? There's so many explorable areas. I should really just keep going forward, but what, what if we miss some cool art? Like, look at that! There's a there's a, a transport ship back there with just containers! They'll say evergreen or something, I don't know. It's the most, like, nothing, but I love detail. Like that. Oh! Um... I, I don't know. Uh, in the water? Oh, I like that they have a little dialogue going on there. That's, I mean, it's, it's a simple thing, but it, it adds a lot of character. Like, some story of... For what's going on. Oh, I can go back that way. <laughs> Add some story very easily uh, with you know, a more simplistic game, which I like. Kill that. Thank you. Uh, it's just, I don't know. Personality. I, I like games to actually have, like, it feels lived in. There's, there's some plot, there's characters. It's something I actually want to play and watch, <laughs> get invested in. Okay, so not that way. Going down. It's gonna be very much a Sonic y sort of situation. Where once you've memorized all of these things, I'm sure it's really fun to just blaze through these. Can you break this? Nope. But I did block them off for me. That's good. Ooh, health. Thank you. And away! Weren't I, weren't I just up here? Were I not just up here? I don't know. <laughs> just down this way? I don't know where I'm going. I have no clue. <laughs> in the comments, if you know where I'm going, uh, please tell me. And then send it back in time so I'll know where I'm going. <laughs> right, I probably need to flip that over so we can get that way. All right, how do I get to you? Can I boost up? Nope. Maybe this thing? Nope. Nope. Hmm, less straightforward than a Sonic game. Crazy. Alright, well, <laughs> that was a little awkward. Alright. I still really like that double jump does not take away from your boosting ability anymore, because that was really annoying in the original game. Oh, I hit a checkpoint. Apparently this is the way I was going. Kill the void! Ow, the bird with a Gatling gun on its back. Kill it! Is this gonna be the boss? Is it that thing I was saying was cool before? We get to like see the boss throughout the level because that's always. A I've got a, f I've got a, a phoenix. I've got a phoenix ball. Sure, why not? 
Navi got very mad. Oh, we're in the water! And then run up the wall? Holy crap, you're like the coolest kind of ninja. Ooh, what does this do? Super speed! Whoa! Oh, it's the thing where as you move, it makes these little uh, yin-yangs behind you. So the farther you can go in a short amount of time, the better, because each of those will turn into the uh, the collectibles. So that's cool. This is a enemy that's just like a, a smashy thing. Oh no, I'm about to run out of time. Oh, I forgot that I did a thing for that. Oh no, we didn't do it enough time to get our bonus. That's okay. I, I forgot that that was a thing we were doing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine right up until it happens, then I'll be upset. Oh. It's fine. All right, so, no, not that way. I'm gonna go this way, just bounce up through it. No? Where am I going? I don't know. Let me go this way. Ah, it's a ramp now. Oh, here we go! Vroom! So cool. Oh, get on the train! Yeah! Oh, surfing on a train! Like, like, why are you so cool? So, like, I barely know this character. He's so cool now. All right, let's see what's up this way. And boost! Still very confused why they're like, it's a dragon, so it's fast. What? What's the association there? Nothing like big or strong or magic or something, I don't know. And how our little weird head tentacle things work. Because in the previous game, those got cut off and they were all bloody and stuff. It was, uh, like I said, the first game had a problem with tone. It was a fun game. Uh, levels were really long, though. It was kind of weird places. I think it's time for a boss fight. Ooh, are we in more of a, uh, a fighty area? This, like, less platforming, more, or less speed-based platforming. And more melee-based combat. Oh, look, we're in the, in the highway area now? Look at that! Transition to a whole new thing. This is where all the... the time... Oh, hello? I gotta go down here. All the time went from taking forever to make this game. It was probably just making all these different environments. Ooh! Hey! Vinyl! The Shedlin Park! Is that a thing? What's a Shedlin Park? I'm assuming it's a place we went to at one point. Or will go. Or something. So much going on here. Like, I don't want to just avoid everything, because I like seeing all the stuff, but... I mean, at some point, I have to, you know, you can make progress. Look at that background. Ooh, we saw that earlier. <laughs> oh, there, there's the the highway. Ooh, oh, those boss time. Oh, yeah, uppercut. What am I doing? Uppercut and downercut. And by that, I mean, like, a dive kick. <laughs> downercut. Take that. That's my new special technique. Downercut. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a Mortal Kombat move, right? When, they, when you, like, uh, you finish them off, it's like, down or good. Nope, boss alert. Thank you for saving everyone from my stupid rambling. Up we go. And get them in. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Go back around. So just stay in ball mode. Yeah, keep doing it. And go. Ooh. Oh, right there. Oh, no. <laughs> They're not kidding me. Cyclone. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And get the, just to the right height. And then, yes. You do that. That's the best. Uh-oh. He's doing that thing. Oh no, it destroyed my... Did Wait, did I already lose that? I don't remember. Little phoenix ball. So you're right at the right height and just do that. If you go the same direction they are, it's so devastating. Did you just poop out a bunch of bombs? I think you might have pooped out some bombs. It makes me think of a Mega Man boss. Mega Man X specifically. Because it was a... Uh, oh, it's a... Uh, my brain says flamingo. That's not the right word. Ostrich. Uh, ostrich is all like digitized or something. It was in like a desert. Um... But this one, it seems like, since everything's broken into these little, like, health ball orb things, like pips, uh, you can just, like, completely destroy one of those by getting a good hit off on it. But it makes it so you can't just cheese the entire boss, which I appreciate. I like that. I like having some actual challenge. Either way, down... Uh, let's do, try kill with an uppercut. Uppercut! Come back here. It's my signature uppercut. No, my signature would be downer kick. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, suck it, bird! How you doing? Oh, I should have worked out more. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Challenger. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Challenger. Uh, badge unlock speed hunter and other stuff. Hey, there we go. I, I don't know if it's recording it properly or not, but those uh, challenges were also achievements. Got a B rank for a nine minute level. So these are still pretty long, but uh, they're freaking cool. Uh, can I just say? No, I was watching me. Like, oh, no. Oh, yeah, like, oh, the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, the face. <laughs> I like that she's a dork. We split up. Nice and <laughs> I like yeah, Good thing we split yeah. up. We murdered the entire city. Together. As a group. As a team. 
But um, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. So we're going to go to the Royal Palace and continue our story in the next episode because I genuinely hope you guys are interested and excited about this because I plan to do a full playthrough of this because I am stupid excited about getting to play this game. It's so pretty! Just look at it! I'm kind of curious if I can play... Ooh! To oh, I can look... Oh, what is that? Is that a spaceship? There's a spaceship down there. Um... I want to uh, know if I can play through this with the other characters, or if I actually probably need to do, like, full playthroughs to be able to see them all. Because uh, they do play very differently. But, uh, hey, if you guys are interested in more of this, please do let me know. I would genuinely appreciate it. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed some just beautiful pixel art styled uh, retro running, jumping, melee, and dragon boosting action. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.